rebuilding this city, growing our economy, creating a firm financial foundation, maintaining the lowest per capita crime rate in the city's history, improving our parks, cleaning up our neighborhoods. Yes, our roads are in terrible shape. In fact, there are some streets in Houston that are in embarrassing shape. And I absolutely wish that the full benefit of Rebuild Houston could come faster. I literally wish it could come in my term of office. But we are reprogramming as many dollars as possible into repair. And there are no quick fixes for decades of deferred maintenance. We've made the right choices. We're moving in the right direction. We will get there. We will do it. Our pension challenge is also three years in the making. And I am moving every level possible, lever possible, to fix them. We're not just talking about it. We are doing it. In the last four years, the Houston region, Gina did a great job with this. The, the Houston region has created more than 364,000 jobs, exported approximately $470 billion in goods through our customs district, and issued permits for the construction of nearly 108,000 single family homes. Houston has led the nation in export growth for two consecutive years and has led the nation in housing permits for four years in a row. We are a powerful economic engine in a powerful and growing region. This growing economy is spurring actually quite a bit of a building boom. The numbers are impressive. In our major business centers, Uptown, the Energy Corridor, West Chase, Midtown, Downtown, there are more than 100 major projects underway with projected capital investments of $7.5 billion. About half of these projects are high-rises. We're also seeing some extraordinary growth opportunities for our airports. And in the past year, ground was broken on the new international terminal at Hobby Airport. In less than a year's time, Intercontinental has also grown. You know, we have marked or announced the arrival of Korean Airlines, Turkish Airlines, Air China. And the amazing thing about those three new nonstop flights is that all of those airlines increased the number of flights before they ever took off for the first time. The market is that robust. Of course, just this week we learned that Scandinavian Airlines is now launching a nonstop service to Stavanger, Norway. We are doing it. And in fact, if you're looking for a job, it might be a good time to tweet about it at Tweet My Jobs Houston because we are doing that as well. Of course, another big win since the last day of the city was the news that Super Bowl set, the Super Bowl of 2017 was coming to Houston. The game didn't start these projects, but the game gives a focal point for completing already planned improvements here in the Central Business District, including next week's groundbreaking for the Marriott Marquis the other side of Discovery Green, Houston's second convention center hotel. There are, nearly, there are three more hotels four major, and four major residential projects underway in the vicinity. We'll break ground this fall on the now Center for Texas Cultural Heritage, state-of-the-art visitor center for the hugely untapped market we have here for heritage to tourism. All eyes may be on 2017, but we were already doing it. We're rebuilding our infrastructure. I mentioned Rebuild Houston earlier. Since the Rebuild Houston program was implemented, $250 million of your dollars have been spent improving streets and drainage. 87 projects have been completed. 450 miles of street have been rebuilt or paved. 557 miles of ditches have been regraded. 131 miles of storm sewer line have been cleaned. There's more to come. In 2014, more than 200 projects will begin construction or advance to completion. 
as a result of our transformative new approach for use in streets, the need for the needs of all users will be accommodated as we grow. It doesn't mean that we will become a complete street city overnight, but as we do these new projects, the complete streets and transportation plan will ensure accessible, convenient use by motorists, public transit riders, pedestrians, people of all abilities, and bicyclists. We are doing it. We're also improving the science and restoring public confidence in our efforts to catch criminals and protect the innocent. Two years ago, I promised Houstonians we would fix the issues that have plagued the Houston Police Department's crime lab. Today, I'm going to announce this formally, today, the Houston Forensic Science Center becomes independent of HPD's crime lab operations. From the start, my goal has been independence. The crime lab independent of police, independent of prosecutors, and independent of political influence. We started down this path today and we completed it. And our independent model has provoked interest from across the United States. We don't just talk about it, we are doing it. And we've also kept the promise to eliminate the backlog of untested sexual assault kits. As of today, I'm able to report that testing is nearing completion on the 6,600 untested kits that have been sitting in storage dating back to 1987. This, this backlog was a terrible miscarriage of our responsibility to thousands of rape survivors. It should never have happened. And everybody in the room knows it is not in my DNA to ignore a problem. It took me a little while to get there. This is a problem that is almost solved. And this is a problem that will never happen again. So join me in saying we are doing it. Last month, Harris County Judge Ed Emmons gave his State of the County speech, and he suggested that more cooperation between the city and the county would be beneficial. I couldn't agree more. But I want to remind everyone that, that there is already a high level of cooperation and coordination between the city of Houston and Harris County. We already operate joint libraries. We operate shared parks. In fact, Commissioner Raddick has signed long-term interlocal agreements to operate and maintain six city parks. Commissioner Cagle is here, and he is eagerly trying to connect his much-loved trail system to the city of Houston's bi-greenway system. Likewise, we have divided responsibilities between our health departments and various county agencies to protect public health. And the Houston Housing Authority and the Harris County Housing Authority are working together for the first time. These are all good things, but it is in the area of law enforcement that we are making the most progress. The Harris County Sheriff's Office now has the ability to use our innovative sobering center as an alternative to jail for people detained for public intoxication, saving dollars, getting county deputies back out on the street faster, and providing an opportunity for intervention for those who want it in the sobering center. It is a wonderful program, and I hope you all take the time to find out a little more about it. 